good morning one and all and welcome to the video my name is samil shah and in this video actually i took a data set from a linkedin data set uh, so basically this is a data set of skills and their categories so what do you, it tells you like for example uh, let's say web development it's an it skill right so it basically can t given a skill it can classify it can tell you what is the category of that skill i used the best approach instead of uh, uh, count vector or, or dict vectorization i used a uh, bert tokenization for the best results so i tokenized everything using bert i gave it a model of knn and tried with different different models i have about 99 to 100% accuracy let's see the code uh, in action uh so yeah i had did all the imports uh, imported uh, this uh, data set from this uh, open it's an open source data set i guess let me see i think it was here uh, i was actually yeah give me one sec actually i i i was i was searching for this nice nice data sets on kaggle i guess i found it but yeah this is the one linkedin uh, data set so let me leave the links in the the the, the blog as well uh, so for that one let me just put that just in case i forget data set okay um so yeah guys uh, i did all this uh, imports uh, after that i i saw the data set and i wanted to see like hey what's uh, what's the uh, unique uh, skills and what's their account so for example if you see tech skills there are about 800 tech skills uh, we have soft skills about you know and then so there are like five categories of skills so this gave me an information okay so there are five classes to be uh, determined now so what I did is basically I took the X and the Y. I, I did a train test split. Then what I did is I created a dictionary of a, of, of basically the lay as the key as my labels and the value as the the I the value as the category that my model will predict. Okay, so that's like a hash table I created. Afterwards, I use a BERT to do a, a you know tokenization. I use BERT. Uh, I did the tokenization. I use linear SVC model. Did the fit. And then uh, basically I try to uh, do on the test set and I said, hey, predict the data, get the mean. It's almost 100%. Uh, I tried to do KNN. Uh, so I, 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 I tried against various K values. From this graph, you could clearly see uh, the K value between uh, two to five is, would be a perfect uh, for this uh, example. So I gave uh, the K value, it, it works really nice. Uh, accuracy is amazing. Uh, then what I did is basically uh, I, I tested on some unseen data he hasn't seen yet okay so I, I called I said like let's say theater right so I said uh, call the bird tokenizer uh, provide the skill name and get the instance once I get the tokenizer uh, the, the token I call the model and I say hey can you predict that for me it's predicted three then I call my hash table provide the ind index uh, or a key of three I would predict the value so that's a specialized industry skill you see how easy you can easily create a machine learning models. So, uh, so what I try to usually do is I try to create all these snippets or these classes, helper classes. For example, I have a helper class for text screening. I have a helper class for tokenization and all of that. So hope this was useful. Uh, we would convert this into a REST API. I would publish it on Heroku as well and open source. So throw your skill, you get a classification of the skill. Hope you did enjoy and if you did enjoy kindly let me know in the comment section and i would be very happy to uh, read your comments as usual guys keep smiling keep coding and uh, we will see you guys in the next upcoming videos